For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this very easy problem where they want you to find the magnitudes of F1, F2, and F3 for equilibrium of this particle located at the origin of the system. So basically, we, you, we are going to divide all these components in Cartesian vector form, and we know that we add, when we add them together, they're equal to zero, so we're going to form equations from that. So let's start with F1. The Cartesian vector form of F1, as you can see, F1 is going straight into the x-axis, so it's F1 in the i, and it has no components in the uh, y or c direction. Let me separate this a little more. F1 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k. Let's go to F2 now. F2, uh, as you can see, it has a y component and a c component and no x component therefore it's zero in the i the y component is minus because it's going on the negative y direction and the y component of f2 is this component right here and it's given by f2 times the cosine of 30 degrees in the j and the c component is this component right here going up and it's given by positive because it's going up F2 times the sine of 30 degrees in the K. So let's go to F3 now. F3 is going uh, straight down on the C direction, therefore it's 0 on the I plus 0 on the J minus F3 in the K. Easy. We have F1, F2, and F3, but we have two more forces is this 4K and this 10K. So this 4K has a negative x component going this way and a negative y component going this way and no c component. So the 4 kilonewton force has a magnitude of negative 4k times the sine of 30 in the i, I'll just skip the k for now and add it at the end, minus 4k times the cosine of 30 in the j plus 0 on the k because it has no c component. And now the 10k the 10k has a has a component of <coughs> 10 this component right here in the y and this negative component in the x. So it's minus 10 times 7 over 25. You get the 7 and the 25 right here. Plus 10 times 24 over 25. This is in the i, and this is in the j, plus 0 in the k. Now that you have all the forces in Cartesian vector form, you know that when you add them together, you get 0i plus 0j plus 0k because we're in equilibrium keyword right here so you can form equations by adding the i's together the j's together and the k's together and setting them equal to zero so let's start with the i's you got f1 plus zero plus zero minus four sine of 30 four sine of 30 is equal to negative two minus 10 times 7 over 25, which should be equal to negative 2.8. And all of that is equal to 0. So as you can see, F1 is equal to 4.8 K. Don't forget the K, Newtons. We added the K in the end. Let's do the J's now. 0 minus F2 cosine of 30 minus 4 cosine of 30 plus 10 times 24 over 25 is equal to 0. So minus 0.866 F2, that's cosine of 30 times F2, minus 3.464, that is 4 times the cosine of 30, and it's negative, plus 9.6, which is 10 times 24 over 25, and that is equal to 0. So when you solve for F2, you get that F2 is equal to 7.09k newtons. 
and the last equation is adding the case together so you get 0 plus f2 sine of 30 minus f3 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 so f2 times 0.5 minus f3 is equal to 0 but we found f2 already so when you plug f2 for the f2 right here and you solve for f3 you get that f3 is equal to 3.55 kilonewtons so final answer for f1 final answer for f2 and final answer for f3 please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you